Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use remote play on your PC for the PlayStation 5. So first on the PlayStation, go on down to settings and then go to where it says system. Then under here, go on down to remote play and make sure this is enabled. And once you have enabled for your account, uh, we can also go to pair right here. Uh, if we ever have to type in a code, this is where that code is located. Now let's go on over to my computer. And then we want to open up a web browser. So let's go up to a web browser right here and then open this up. And then just type in google.com, uh, PS5 remote play. And then we can go to this link. Now the link can be a little strange. I'll show you where to download everything. So we got PS5 remote play, playstation.com. Now under here, uh, let's scroll on down and we have to find the PS5 link. So we can see PC, Mac, so let's go to Windows PC and Mac download. And then just download it right here, Windows PC. And then it should be downloading in the top right. So if not, just click right here and we have to click download. There we go. That gets it to download. Then we go to search on a computer. Let's just type in PS Remote Play. And then open this up. Now make sure your PlayStation is turned on and is connected to the internet. And then we got to sign in with our account. So if we're going to be playing on our computer, we need to connect our controller to the computers to actually play. So uh, if you got a cable or Bluetooth, just do that. And then we got the video quality options in here and then information. Okay, good. So my PS5 is already connected. So if you're on the same network, it should just automatically connect it. Otherwise, you're going to have to connect it with that code. I saw you before if you're trying to use like a mobile network or something on your phone. But all I have to do is click PS5 Pro. And it should connect. It says can't connect to your PS5. To start remote play, close uh, games, apps, and features on the PS5. So I got to make sure I close everything on there. And then I should be able to start it up. So if you don't got it closed, you got to go back to it. So let's go back to my PS5. And I might have a game or something open. So let's go back to the home screen. And then make sure I have Gears of War reload to close. All right, so this game is closed. Now let's go back to my computer. And it is searching and it is now connected to my PlayStation 5 from a computer. So very easy to get this go ahead and work. Hopefully this video did indeed help you out. Did leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on your six studios.